Step 1. Open your preferred search engine. and type in the following address www.thinkcentral.com Once you've typed that in, please hit enter. Step 2. Once you're on the home page for Think Central, in the left-hand column, please click on the top box, which is Reading and Language Arts. Once you've clicked on Reading and Language Arts, you will now proceed to Step 3. On the right-hand side, you'll see a number of icons. On the top row, second to the right, please click on the one that says Journeys Common Core. Once you've clicked on Journeys Common Core, you'll be taken to Welcome to Think Central, Students, Teachers, and Administrators. You'll need to fill in a number of fields. First, under State, please click on Pennsylvania. Under District, you'll want to click on Hampton Township School District. Under School, you'll want to click on Central Elementary School. Be sure to click the checkbox that says Remember My Information. For username, type in the last name and then the first initial of your child. For instance, if your child's name was Chuck Williams, it would be Williams C. For password, it's Talbot, and that's capital T-A-L-B-O-T. Once you've done that, click on Login. Moving to Step 5, the next thing you want to do is click My Library, which is located in the right-hand corner. From there, you'll go to Step 6. You have the choice of either clicking on Journeys Student Ebook L1, which is right here on the left hand side, or you can click on Journeys Family Connection L1, which is here on the right hand side. Step 7. This is the final step. At this point, you can select which book your child is going to read based upon the assigned lesson. In either case, you can select either the image or the hyperlink below it. And th for this example, we are going to select Journey's Student Ebook L1. Once selected, this will give you an option of which book to select. This will be decided upon what the assigned lesson is from your child's teacher. For this example, we'll click on Book 1. It will take a few seconds for the ebook that you've selected to render. Once the ebook has fully rendered, your student is able to begin the assigned lesson. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.